Brent here with Bring Your Own Tools on today's episode. If you want to see how we installed this beautiful exterior handrail and the reasoning behind why we did it, keep on watching. Let's get started. Now the one nice thing about being a YouTuber is that you get a lot of boxes, but you don't normally get a box like this, nicely signatured, and I always appreciate that. Now. As for the product, I may be re revamping my house numbers, but for today's project, we are utilizing Bold Manufacturing's modern handrail that is three feet long with their minimal bracket style. Now the handrail itself is 16 gauge tube steel with black powder coat and a satin finish. Now for this project, I am using their standard three foot section, but they do custom sizing from three feet all the way up to 16 feet long, depending on your span. Now, there's a few things that I love in this world, but few that compare to a high quality steel part, like the brackets that were featured in a recent BIT on my wood interior handrail. But that company, Bold Manufacturing, loved that project so much, they wanted me to do one on their exterior projects. So, let's get this thing installed. Now I have featured this front entryway in a number of different projects already on my channel. However, I have not finished it out yet. So I'm gonna be working on trying to completely renovate this entire space. Now with this being a handrail, it needs to be to code, which basically means the height of the handrail top needs to be between 34 and 38 inches. Now I'm setting it at 36 just because why not just be right in the middle? Now the easiest way to account for the proper height and angle is taking your tape measure and at the very front lip of the bottom step as well as the top step, you measure 36 inches. Then I proceed to taking my six foot level and just making sure that that is properly straight from the very front of the step lip. Now as for connecting these two heights together, I would suggest utilizing a chalk line in order to connect because one, it's very easy to have a perfectly straight line all the way across, and two, it's easily removable. Now for handrails, it's very important to have proper support and therefore hitting a stud is definitely more desirable than just wall anchoring it down. Luckily for me, I did find one stud that was in perfect position for the top bracket. Now because I have wood siding, it's hard to find a wood stud with a stud finder. However, that's why I went on the interior of the house and actually found where that stud is located and transferred it to the exterior of the house. I then measured three and a half inches below the line of where the stud placement is going to be located and pre-drilled one of my holes, just one. I then fasten the far right screw into position and actually tighten it down, not all the way, but enough to the point where it doesn't feel loose. Oh, and I do suggest using a Phillips head extension drive because it makes it a lot easier to get in between and not mar up the powder coat finish. Once I like the positioning of the handrail, I then take a hand clamp and just clamp it down tight with the bracket. I then proceed to position the bottom bracket where I want the placement to be and then pre-drill those holes. Just make sure you're visually inspecting your chalk line as it correlates to your handrail height because I want to make sure that it aligns with both the top and the bottom evenly. Now I'm increasing the hole size to 7 16 of an inch because we are going to be using a wall anchor like this. Now this specific anchor is called a toggle bolt anchor, and it provides a very strong hold to any application. Now the one thing you have to think about with this type of anchor system is the fact that you have to insert the anchor into the bracket first and then push it through because you can take these anchors out. However, once these anchors are in the wall and you remove the screw, the clamshell side of the anchor will fall into the wall and won't be usable afterwards. Just gotta think about that one ahead of time. I then proceed to fastening one side down and then bring the handrail up and fit it into position to the point where I want it perfectly aligned with the chalk line above. Once I like the overall alignment of the handrail top, I then proceed to tightening both anchors down fully and securely. After I have that taken care of, I then proceed to moving up to the top bracket and install the second fastener because the positioning of the handrail is where I want it exactly. 
Now the brackets also come with the proper sheet metal screws, which basically means that you can tap it into place without having to pre-drill your holes for your metal handrail. This is quite easy, especially if you have an impact driver for your screws. Makes it a little bit easier. Oh, and as you're watching this, don't mind my serious face, as you can see right there and right there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's funny what you can capture on video if you're always recording yourself, right? Now on a personal note, with hardware like this, I want it to blend in perfectly. Therefore, I'm using a marker pen specifically designed to cover up metal like this. However, it's very hard to get in the grooves of the Phillips head. Therefore, I made a perfect little cone shape out of one piece of paper and a piece of tape. All I have to do is pinpoint it exactly where I want it on the brackets, spray a little black spray paint just to cover up the inside of the Phillips head, and the cone shape perfectly covers up any of the overspray. But guess what? After we have that taken care of, we are done! Sometimes simplicity is just gorgeous, and that's how I feel about this project. From the quality of the build to the ease of installation, it's very nice, and I'll leave a link in the description box below on where to actually purchase this product, if interested. But, let's get to the real reason why we actually installed this in the first place. And as for the reason why we're doing this, well, say hello to the newest member of the BYOT family, Isla. Oh, hi, Isla. And as you can see, she has her swag. And as you can see, very important cargo. Right, Kona? That's right. I sure do love my drone shots, but man, it does get sketchy sometimes. Whoop. Watch out now.